a, a um, symbolic way of uh, saying something quite uh, simple. Um, it's a statement about what will happen if you do something. And it says, um, it has three parts, as you would expect from a triple. And the um, first part is called a precondition, and that begins, if something or other is the case in the real world, and the second part is the program it says, itself, which is a, an active um, f uh, verb, uh, is, that, is that if you do this, then the final state of the world, after you've done it, will satisfy the third component of the triple, which is called the post-condition. Right. Now, that's what it was. Can you tell us what problem you were trying to solve when you came up with the Hoare triple? Well, I had, I had the idea that it would be a good idea to define programming languages in a way that um, didn't say too much about what the computer actually did, because in those days anyway, all computers were doing things slightly differently, but uh, gave enough information to the user of the programming language to be able to predict what, whether the um, computer would do what the programmer wanted it to do. What the programmer wanted it to do was expressed as the post condition um, and served as a specification uh, for the program in the middle, uh, but very usually the program wouldn't work in all circumstances and required to be started in, in a state in which the precondition also held. Um, so what I was trying to do was to construct a formal proof system, um, uh, calling on my previous acquaintance and love of logic, uh, which would justify a, a formal proof, a mathematical proof, that the program actually does what the programmer wanted.